Okay, I wanna do something about this because it is so messy. And also I have coffee in here, but then I have paint stuff in here. So I'm just gonna rearrange. So here's the before and the before. Here is the after. I took out a shelf so everything can fit better. And oh my God, it looks so good. Got rid of a ton of these things. And now I'm going to tackle this one. Okay, everything. Look, look at how freaking clean. Cleaned up the kitchen, cleaned up everything. Oh my God, you guys. This is literally the best purchase I've ever made. The Tinico, amazing. And then these look so good. I do want to, like I said, put some more stuff in there, but whatever. It looks good. I've got Luna for the next couple days. Steph is in Banff. Hello there. We are going to the house. I have an electrician meeting me there. I'm also, I'm bringing my camera and Luna and Jack. Luna's going to see the house. I got poop picked up yesterday. Um, oh my God, so much stuff, so much stuff. I gotta take pictures of the roof for my home insurance. I gotta get this electrician stuff done for home insurance. Okay, sorry, the electrician was calling saying he was on the way. So, lots of stuff happening. I'm going to do all this. And then me and Cooper later are going over to my parents who sold their house, you guys. This has been literally years in the, mo in the morning, in the making. Good God, you can tell when I only have half a cup of coffee. So. If you literally go back like three or four years, you can see in my vlogs that we were talking about getting the house ready to sell and all that kind of shit. And like, that's why they got the kitchen done. That's why they redid the floors downstairs because they're like, oh, you know, it'll be good for when we go to redo everything or when we go to sell. And oh my God, it's finally, like, it's finally a thing. So all that needs to be done at the house is this electrical stuff. Um, eventually I'll get somebody out there to check on the roof and give me a quote for that. My dad is going to insulate the garage and then otherwise it's pretty well like good to go, like good to move in. They just need to finish painting whatever they wanted to paint. It's so good. And my fucking dad, he called me and was like, oh, they passed. Like they didn't, they didn't want it. And I was like, fuck. Like now I'm gonna, you guys are gonna have to list this. I'm gonna have to rent this out to somebody for like a couple months at least. And like, fuck. And he's like, I'm just kidding. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, how dare you ever do that to me? It was so productive yesterday. Did all of the outdoor stuff, set up the hammock, did all that sort of fun stuff. And the backyard is now basically ready for campfires and all that sort of shit, which very exciting. This is what it looks like now. So much brighter. What do you think? Where are we? <laughs> oh my goodness, so exciting. Do you want to go outside? All right, so here, like, it's such a big yard. Oh. Okay, we are back home. I just, like, look at how cute this is. I cleaned it out yesterday when I was doing the whole like reorganizing everything and like, oh, it's so cute. And I also did up here because it was just so cluttered and like stupid looking. Look at how pretty the shelf is. Today is a big day for getting stuff done. We are going to go back to the house because I have a quote for the roofing. So someone's going to meet me there soon. I also need to wash my car, but first, because we're not bringing the dogs because I'm going to meet my parents at dinner. <gasps> Wait, did everything close down because we went to different restrictions or is that Friday? Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. First things first, dogs outside. Car wash is done. Did I spray myself several times with my dirty car water? Uh, see, yes, of course I did, did that. Of course I did because I can't not do it. Um, also now I'm not going directly to the house because I'm hungry. So I'm going to get something to eat quickly. Something snacky. 
because I haven't really eaten that much today and I need some food. And look at how nice and clean all of my windows are. It's beautiful. I guess we'll go to the house and wait and get the quote. And so far I've got like two people giving me a quote. There's gonna be one more at least. And then I don't know if I'm gonna do this right away. I guess it kind of depends on how much it is. Because if it's not like insane, like thousands and thousands of dollars, because it's not like it's a crazy huge house, then maybe it'll be cheaper. I don't know. Anyways, okay, I'll I'll keep you updated. We're in the house. Hold on, we need light. Oh my god, that's such weird timing. Okay, I never updated you on the roof. Um, the first quote was very expensive, but also like pretty standard in terms of re-roofing. It was like $6,000. Oh! And like, I need to get this done in the next year, but like not right now. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, you will, oh, all of my like, redness went down and you'll see why i was red in the next clip because i'm filming this update the next day okay let's blast forward in time i am going to try botox for the very first time right now i don't really know what made me want to do this but i booked this like a week and a half ago after a moment of like <gasps> just do it <laughs> so i'm gonna just do it I'm quite excited about it, to be honest. I uh, may also get fillers, I don't know. I'm not looking for anything like lip filler wise, but I'm open to like under eye filler. We'll just see. Cause it's like a consult and an actual appointment, so we'll see. I'm also gonna be documenting every single day on my TikTok. So if you guys want to see what like every day's facial changes are, then that's where you can check that out because it's supposed to take a week to actually like take full effect. This is directly after I've got some redness obviously, but overall it was super quick. Probably the injections because they did my forehead, they did I got like a little mini brow lift and then right around here. So probably took what, like five minutes for all the injections. So here's kind of more of a close up of what it looks like. Yeah, that's it. I had to do this a lot. Okay, it is later. I did some makeup. She said I could put makeup on. I just couldn't like rub my face so i spent so long blending but i feel cuter now mm. why did i put on makeup because we might be going to costco and also like i just wanted to feel pretty so now i'm hungry so let's get something to eat hello so i'm going over to the house to get another roofing quote called me while I was doing my makeup and was like, I'm almost here. And I was like, oh, this is why I need to tell people that this is a rental because they think they can just stop by anytime <laughs> and I'm not there. So I'm in a fucking mood today. Like, okay, here's the thing. I always feel kind of conflicted being super like grumpy on here because I know a lot of you guys use this as like oh it's an escape from my life and all that sort of shit and usually I feel like usually I'm in a really good mood but like god yesterday Cooper and I went to Costco and that is just a clusterfuck on its own especially when we're going down to like level one restrictions again so there was no toilet paper there's just it was busy and people were fucking rude and like we were both hungry and we were both grumpy and then like I get some like news about my grandma and like she still got all these tests getting run and like it's just ugh, I was in such a bad fucking mood and then come home to a fucking ticket on my car because there's like a fucking unmarked something in front of my house and I'm just like, gee, like I literally just started fucking sobbing in the car yesterday and Cooper's like, okay, you need to go inside and eat your pizza and I'll do the groceries, like just go sit down. And I was like, I'm literally gonna have a fucking mental breakdown. Like I just, it's too much shit. 
and I feel like I've got kind of a hangover from it today where it's just like I'm not as just I just feel like numb and cranky today so it's pretty lit because I also have to film so I need to like turn my mood around in the next little bit here because I don't I don't film main channel videos when I'm grumpy because I feel like that translates a lot sassy sure but like if I'm just grumpy and short like this like I just I don't think it makes for like a fun video time and like I don't know so gotta turn it around <laughs> I was sitting there doing my makeup watching a live which is that I think Korean or Japanese um it's like a, a zombie movie and I don't know it was good so far I'm like 30 minutes into it and I was like okay I'm gonna do my hair I'm gonna do this I'm gonna have my coffee by the time I'm done my coffee my overnight oats should be ready and now I'm going to the house and I'm just not in it but at the end of the day here's where we're gonna turn it around okay at the end of the day I'm very lucky to be living this life. I'm very lucky to have a rental property to have to go to. This is the reality of having another property. I can't be so precious with my time and my schedule today just because I'm in a bad mood. And usually I am in a good mood, so I'm allowed to feel this way. But I can't let it ruin my whole day. I'm allowed to feel my emotions, but they can't dictate my whole day. I can be grumpy and have a bad day, but I still need to be productive while also being kind with myself. All right, it's a couple hours later. I'm in like slightly better of a mood, like kind of. Um, I did film and I, I just sat outside when I got home from the quote, which was out fucking outrageous. I thought the first quote was like so expensive. And then this quote, I was like, absolutely fucking not. Thank you so much. Like, Jesus, I'm still waiting on two more, but so far the first quote is the winner. Like, Jesus Christ, roofing is expensive. Fuck. <laughs> um, but got home from that, went out and ate my overnight oats in the yard with the dogs and just like sat in the sun for a little bit, came downstairs, finished my hair and makeup and filmed. And I am just editing this vlog and we're still allowed outdoor gatherings. So I'm going to have a fire tonight with a couple of friends and just fucking get over myself. <laughs> what do you guys do when you're grumpy? What do you do when you're having a bad day? How do you turn it around? Let me know. Also, Botox update day two. And that's where we're at.